What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. This one's a little bit different as you guys can see I'm reclining in my chair I have Otto who wants to get into this video as well and he scratches the shit out of me dude You really got to stop doing that, but I love you so much Anyway guys I've got some really awesome news for you and I'm going to show it to you right now. So you guys can see here that there is a new vlogging setup that is upon us. I'm sorry, but I'm fighting Otto who is just in insanely, insanely excited for me to be home. He's cooped up all day and you guys can imagine that he just wants to chill with his pops. Good boy. Anyway guys, here is the new vlogging setup. I've got the Canon Rebel T6i. This thing is really sick. I ended up picking it up used on Facebook Marketplace for a price that I could not beat. I then went out and bought the Joby Gorillapod. This is for the DSLR cameras. It supports up to 6.6 .6 pounds. And then I've got the Rode Mini Micro, which is a really sweet mini external microphone that is not big, not bulky, and it is not battery powered. It is purely powered off of the power of the camera through this auxiliary port. So this thing is pretty badass because it has a fold out screen on the back side here. So what I can do is I can still take these six still frames that I used to take with the legacy EOS, but now I can also flip the screen and get some awesome vlogging angles for you guys. So I'm insanely excited about this thing because it's gonna bring you guys overall increased viewing pleasure and great audio capability. Now, before we go into the rest of the content of this vlog, let me switch to this new camera and then we'll get this show started. All right, so now I got you guys on the new camera. I apologize if this thing goes out of focus. For a little while, I'm still trying to get familiarized with all of the different technical capabilities that this camera has, but it's pretty neat now that I can actually watch myself. The little screen that's just behind all of you awesome viewers, and now I'll know exactly what I'm filming at any given point in time. And I've also got really bad news, guys. Literally, as I was filming the different sound clips that I'm gonna show you guys here as an example of the overall sound and quality improvement, the GoPro took a pretty hard spill. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm incredibly bummed out about how the GoPro broke. <laughs> I actually bounced into the pole that the GoPro was on and it fell off right onto its face. Anyway guys, I took a few different sound clips before the GoPro broke so you could all see firsthand how much of an improvement there is on the T6i with the external mic versus the GoPro. As you guys could see, there's a seriously significant improvement over the GoPro with the Canon T6i. So, to all of you guys out there that were always complaining about the wind noise in the background, that is a thing of the past, guys. So you guys can see here is my track width on the truck. I'd say that the wheels and tires stick out probably a good seven inches, maybe a little bit more. And right now, it's kind of hard to tell. The wheels in the back stick out the exact same as the wheels in the front. So that didn't happen naturally. I actually am running an inch and a half spacer in the back and I'll get into the reason why I chose an inch and a half spacer for the rear in a second. So when you lift these kind of trucks, basically guys, the spindles on the new lift kit are actually thicker and will create a larger track width than the stock truck itself. That is the spindle that comes on the Cognito four to six inch lift. That spindle is actually thicker and wider than the stock spindle on the truck. 
So the result is guys, the front wheels will actually extend more out of the truck, whether you're running wide wheels or narrow wheels, whatever the case may be, which will then result in an uneven width between the front and the rear wheels. What a lot of people do to combat this is they'll go out and purchase spacers depending upon how much the front of their truck actually extended out. Just so you all can see the exact spacer that I'm running, I'm gonna pull this wheel off real quick. Quick side note guys, if you pull your wheels off your truck often and you rotate these things often, or even if you're a car person and you're always like changing your wheels, pulling on and off wheels, go out and invest in one of these. This is seriously the best thing since sliced bread. This is the half inch version. It's the Milwaukee M18 fuel. This thing is a powerhouse powered by an 18 volt lithium battery. They also have a three quarter inch drive, which is also a little powerhouse. These things are absolutely awesome. Huge time savers, well worth the money. Not even that expensive. I think this is like 200 bucks total. Well worth it guys. sexy wheel off of the truck you can see here that the spacer is mounted on the hub of the truck itself yes it is that black thing with these silver things coming out of it so basically guys I've had these spacers adjust here on the truck now for about a year and they have been nothing but an absolute pleasure to deal with so let me give you guys the quick rundown of these things they're an inch and a half inch wide they are made by Bora and they are hub centric now these spacers are 6061 grade aluminum, which means they are very strong. They are hub centric, which is very, very, very valuable, guys. Let me say very, very, very valuable because of the fact that these wheels and most wheels on these new trucks require hub centric hubs. So the wheel gap on the wheel is actually completely eliminated. So basically what that means, guys, is that little black ring right there that's running around the outside of the spacer, it's that thing right there, is make or break when it comes to getting spacers, guys. Literally, that little tiny ring is what that big-ass wheel and tire setup rides on. Without that, you'll have problems. And I'll give you a real-world testament to that from my personal experience here in just a minute. So the studs on these spacers, guys, are made out of 10.9 grade steel bolts. They're an 830 MPA, which is like megapascals, which is a, a standard um, metric that steel is rated in. And what that converts to, guys, is around 120,000 pounds per square inch that these bolts can hold. Now, that is something that's very valuable. On this new truck here, specifically the 2015 Duramax with the Cognito lift, I required an additional inch and a half of spacing for the rear axle to align with the front axle, the knuckle that I had referred to in the earlier video that was now pushed out a little bit from the lift kit. All right guys, so there was a little bit of trimming required to install this spacer on this specific truck because these stock studs are too long to fit inside of the spacer itself because if they extend past the spacer they will actually bump off of the inside of the hub of the wheel i had to trim the little dummy studs off of the end of each one of my my lug nuts here because i needed to get them to fit within each one of these concaves and then i painted over the outside of these just to give it a little bit of a protective coating now let's backtrack a little bit guys because Switch your hands here. I actually ran two inch spacers that I purchased off of eBay on the truck for about a month. And let me tell you right now, guys, I highly advise never, ever, ever doing that. What I saw was cost savings opportunity. What I felt from driving my truck was, was an insanely sketchy drive, guys. I mean, these things are not worth your time or your money or the potential cost savings. Just go out and buy something that's legitimate, like the Bora spacers here. Now, there are companies that you can also purchase from, but the Bora I know work and I will personally attest to their quality. So a little bit of feedback from my experience with eBay spacers, not hub centric. They have no technical specifications. So you have no idea what kind of strength and metals that you're putting on your truck to ultimately depend on, your life depends on it. It was a really bad idea. I learned my lesson quickly. I didn't drive the truck that long. I drove it on the highway just a few times and I could tell immediately that being that these spacers were not hub centric the entire truck would rattle because there was play between the wheel and the hub itself now that in and of itself should just sketch you out beyond belief 
So another thing guys, I was running two inch spacers on this truck, like I said, for about a month. They were eBay spacers. So I had a little bit of extra track width in the rear of the truck, about a half an inch over the front of the truck. Now to the naked eye and to most people, they probably couldn't recognize this as I'm insanely anorotentive about everything that I have. It drove me absolutely crazy. You would really have to look, but you could almost tell, especially with the mud tire, the spacing between the inside tread the front fender line was like right here on the tire and the rear was like right here. Now only if you were standing from the back of the truck and you looked and you compared from the rear to the front, you'd ever be able to tell. You can see how it kind of sits back there. Habits that you'd probably want to get yourself into is A, if you're not doing it already and you're running mud tires, rotate those sons of bitches every 3,000 miles. Mud tires are softer and these trucks put a lot of uneven pressure on tires. So make sure that you go out and you rotate religiously every 3,000 miles. That way you maintain even wear and you're not going to have to replace two tires at a time, which would really suck. And you're going to have to wear your wallet down a little bit faster, which nobody wants to do. Secondly, every time you're now rotating your tires every 3,000 miles, what I advise you do is you retorque each one of the spacer bolts onto the actual hub itself of the truck just to assure the fact that they are staying tight. Still no rain. Come to find out the weatherman is incorrect yet again. And with that said, it's a perfect day to do an outro in front of the truck. That way you guys can actually see a little bit more of this thing because you've been looking at the back right of it pretty much the entire time. Now I would like to apologize for all the talking and the technical nonsense that I covered in this video. I know that to some of you it might not be all that interesting, but what some of you need to realize is when you're going out and doing the research process, well, what some of you need to realize is when you are researching different spacers, it is a very, very sensitive topic because if you find any misleading information, it could seriously be a very, very dangerous thing, guys. And that's why I wanted to provide my own personal feedback on this topic because there's a lot of discussion that carries it out. I do have some exciting things coming up this weekend, guys, that I'm sure that all of you will really enjoy, so I look forward to sharing that content with you all. And per the usual, guys, please remember to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already or you're stopping in for the first time. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time. One of our good buddies from out here in Pennsylvania, his name is J.D. Long. He passed away from a car accident. Actually, he was driving his truck and it flipped. He unfortunately lost his life. So what we all did was we rounded up downtown Lancaster off-road central put together a memorial meet cruise which was just an amazing amazing event some of you viewers in the audience that know JD or some of you that might not even know JD please continue to watch the video this is such a beautiful thing that everybody participated in guys there was one event that had over easily 250 people attend all these trucks all in memory of JD Long it just goes to show how many people that you can touch. The law of six degree, guys, is so, so true. So with that said, enjoy some of the highlights, and that's where I'm gonna end this video.